I'm Rebecca Bromley Woods. I'm Education Lead at the Greater Manchester Violence Reduction Unit. Um, the Gender Based Violence Strategy is a Greater Manchester initiative and it supports the work that we're already doing in the Violence Reduction Unit across education around changing attitudes and um, changing the culture around what's acceptable in terms of violence against women, but also um, violence by men against the LGBTQ plus communities. Um, and I think, first of all, it's important to say that we understand that it's not just males that commit violence, but we do look at this through a gendered lens where there is predominantly more violence by men against women. We all have a part to play in changing the culture, changing the attitudes and changing behaviours. Hello and welcome, Mr Burnham. The White Ribbon Ambassadors have taken a pledge which is to never commit, excuse or remain silent about male violence against women. And I'm really glad we're having this conversation with you this morning just to kind of talk about the video and see what you think about it and how it makes you feel and what you're going to do about it. And I would say to all you know, the, the, the lads on the call, um, this one is definitely on us really. I think we've got to leave this conversation. You know, this is a problem for men, lads and boys to own because that is where the problem is coming from. I'm Janice Allen, I'm head teacher at Phelange Park High School here in Rochdale. If we don't start looking at the issues that are out there within society, then our young people who are in school are going to go out into the world and struggle. It's so important that we, we, we speak to boys and men about these issues. We can't ignore the fact that when it comes to these cases, we're speaking in the main about men's violence against women and girls. So it's really important that we create the space for, the, for men and boys to have conversations that see them not as the problem, but as the solution. It should be known everywhere. At least when you grow up, you, you should know how to treat other people and women. You know, we've got to be prepared to, to, to call it out amongst, amongst our friends. Because my daughter was saying to me that she knows of people who get this kind of stuff, you know, whistling or shout, and then go home and cry all night because they feel so intimidated by it and upset by it. And, you know, just, we just have to think about that, don't we? So these workshops are really helping young people you know, look at the power of words, the power of language, and how that can, if unchecked, lead to other forms of violence. We can't underestimate teenagers. They want to talk about this. We've been having the conversations. What does it mean to be a man in today's world? We've been building up young people to be positive bystanders, to be able to turn around and to be able to call out or call in when things are wrong. Well, someone today in a class talked about friends turning on them if they intervene. Wonderful, that's a fear that young people have. And unless we talk about that, and if, if all we're talking about is you need to do this, you need to speak up, when, and we don't cover these inhibitors, then young people will still more often than not walk away from a situation. So we want our children to understand that our language is important, the standards that we accept are important, and that they are actually the key players in changing the culture over time. Is it, if it hurts someone's feelings or impacts their day, it's not okay. The talk with the mayor um, is also important because I'm speaking to someone who has much power and can like make a change. Victim blaming is so prevalent and it happens so much that women will like keep it to themselves and it will less likely not be reported and they will have to grow with the trauma. You know, violence prevention, you know, for me, starts in the community and when we activate that community, whether it be a school, whether it be a workplace, we have the potential to really make a difference. I'll try and change people's perspective about women. It's important because the workshops might bring awareness and will properly educate the people who are participating. We can't just expect men to speak up, we need to help them to speak up on these issues. And when we give young people the permission to intervene, and to talk about these issues, we permit other people to do the same as well. So it's the start of the journey for the gender-based violence strategy, but I would encourage all schools to look at the work that's taking place, look at the strategy that the Greater Manchester Combined Authority has put out. And I think we're at a place now where we, we can say enough's enough. Let's educate everybody, let's support our boys to do the right thing and to stand up and support each other to be the best that they can be.